there is an insect called the spotted lantern fly. It's invaded and invaded is the word 11 states in the northeast and Midwest. Here's what they look like. They look like they might be moths, but the spotted lantern fly can be identified with by the bright red wings they're and also the spots. Funny. A lot of people think they're beautiful, Gail. However, <laughs> these bugs are actually uh, an invasive uh, species uh, that threaten trees. They threaten crops. They, they threaten fruit trees. And the USDA is asking Americans to smash them. Smash these insects if you see them. Sammy Ramsey is an entomologist at the University of Colorado Boulder. He's also known as Dr. Bugs. Yeah, and like he that. shares my shock at this recommendation to kill <laughs> insects. So what's going on surprised, here? I was surprised. But this is not something that we frequently tell yeah. people, that you need to smash an insect. But they are spreading rapidly okay. across the U.S. And we've got to do something about their population. So they're not supposed to be here. They originate from Asia. Exactly. What makes them so threatening to, to our economy? The way that these organisms work, they have this mouth part, it's like a straw, so they can only feed on fluids. So they fly around from tree to tree, different plants, apples, peaches, uh, even uh, grapevines, and they suck the fluid out of the fruit, which makes the plant less productive and gives us less of a crop yield. And they're a threat to trees as well. Yeah, quite a few well, that, trees, That's actually. a problem, but it does seem, Sammy, to be murder. Is there no other way to do it? Even That's what I little, want to know. Even as a little kid, you're told, you know, scoop it up and put it and put somewhere. It away. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, but, you often hear that bugs have, there, there are some redeeming qualities. There are no well, redeeming qualities. And they have families. Precisely, they do they have families. Have families. They have Oftentimes, a mom and a dad I mean, and siblings. We're making a picture book out of it now. <laughs> Dozens of babies. They have yeah. families. Well, but they're saying, but is there no other way? Because you you also say you 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 do need to smash. Them. It is unfortunate. You're that too. But we, as the research community, we want you to choose violence, everybody. <laughs> Yay! Okay. I'm sorry. I mean, these insects are absolutely beautiful. When you look at them, I mean, they give you high fashion. They are the Billy porter of insects, yeah. <laughs> but unfortunately, it's, no one is concerned about their appearance. It's their appetite that's yeah. the issue. Is it because there's so many of them that you just need to smash them? They do not have natural enemies. Mm. So, oh. uh, as you said earlier, normally we, we talk about insects as very important to, to the ecosystem, but when a creature doesn't have the, the other organisms that balance it out, it grows out of control and can threaten the rest of the ecosystem. If, if you just don't like the feel of a bug under your foot, you don't want to smash mm -hmm. or crush or squash, uh, can you spray an insecticide? I would very much advise against that. Okay. Why? There are no insecticides that we currently have here that are labeled for usage against these insects. And when you use these broad spectrum ones that are not targeted to them, you kill a lot of insects that are not the intention um, for you to go after. So, so they no, don't hurt humans, though, They don't right? hurt humans. They don't hurt well, humans. indirectly, no. though, in Brooklyn, where everyone's afraid they're going to kill the trees. And so they're putting, oh, okay. like, a white tape okay. around the trees yeah. to keep them from crawling right. up. And yeah. there's also, like, squads, gangs of people who are volunteered to go out and find them and squash these bugs. It's bringing families together. Think about the family togetherness now. <laughs> well, people are getting together with tennis rackets and just going after these things. But let me ask you this. You say people should try and catch them before they kill them. So it's one thing, mm -hmm. you see one, you smash it, which yeah. I don't want to do anyway, but mm -hmm. now you're asking me to bond with it first well, okay. and then bring it yeah, home, and then what? And then, I like, mean... kill my buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't... So I'm not asking you to bond with it. In certain areas of the country that they haven't reached yet, it's actually really important for you to be able to be the eyes and ears for your Department of Agriculture. So in New York, just squish them. We don't need any more of them. Uh, you don't need to catch them and send them to your, your local scientists. That's they know they're here. Before you go, we were so fascinated when we saw the piece on you back in the day. You and mm -hmm. Ben Tracy were doing, I think Talking it was cicadas. cicadas. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. But I'm, I'm so fascinated by you because I, I think what you do, Number one, I could never do it. Bugs freak me out. What is it about bugs that is fascinating to you? So first of you all, you, you got to try it first. No, I don't. You, no, no, don't <laughs> knock it before you try it. <laughs> I, I, I'm knocking it. But it, what is it about it for you that you're so fascinated insects by? Insects are by far the most fascinating organisms on this planet and the coolest thing you've ever stepped on. They are, they make up the vast majority of animals on this planet. Um, hundreds of times more biomass from insects than people. They, uh, Beyonce sang a song that said, who runs the world? She said, girls. girls. I'm gonna have to add an addendum to that. Girls and bugs. <laughs> bugs truly run this world. We would be nowhere without, without them. I'm curious wow. to see what you see when you look at them, because I'm totally creeped out. But it's so good to meet you in person. Wonderful to meet very, you as well. Very excited to so have glad you. glad you're here. I'm glad Sammy, to be here. Sammy Ramsey, AKA Dr. Bugs. I just like saying that. <laughs> bugs.